Lainey, my dear sister, it feels like ages since we last spoke. How have you been? Oh wait, I suppose that's a bit of a loaded question considering recent events. My apologies for the insensitivity. Rosemary, I thought I had blocked your number. You have quite the audacity to reach out after everything that's happened. Yes, I can't deny that our circumstances are complicated. It's been six months since Hendrik and I got married and I realize we haven't really kept in touch. But there's something important I need to discuss with you. I have nothing to say to you, Rosemary. Don't expect me to lend an ear. Wait, Lainey. Aren't you even slightly curious about how your sister and your ex-husband are faring? Curious? About a sister who betrayed me and a man who had the gall to cheat on me with my own twin? No, Rosemary. I'd rather not hear it. The thought of you two together is so absurd it's almost laughable. Lainey, you do realize that you played a part in all this too, right? You're not just an innocent victim here. Oh, really? And how exactly am I to blame for my husband's infidelity? I'm genuinely curious. Well, think about it, Lainey. We're identical twins. We look the same, yet Hendrik chose me over you. That says something about your personality, doesn't it? Maybe it's time for some introspection. Our styles are different, our vibes are different. Yet he chose you. That says more about him than it does about me. But I think I know why he ran off with you. You're the easier one. Easier one? What do you mean by that? We agreed to share responsibilities equally, but he started slacking off. When I confronted him about it, he didn't like it. So he ran off to you, someone who wouldn't hold him accountable. He's just a man-child who wants to be pampered. Well, he got what he wanted. It doesn't matter what you say because it all sounds like you're just trying to get back at me for winning him over. What a sore loser, sis. Just get over it already. Sis, I feel sick every time you call me that. You completely betrayed my trust. So I'd appreciate it if you stopped acting like we were still close. You really don't like the fact that you got your husband stolen by your sister, huh? I feel for you, sis, I really do. But you really can't help the fact that Hendrik loves me more than he loved you. I am starting to think that you contacted me just to torment me. Ugh, it's just so hard to win with you. You're so cold-hearted, you know? You could try being a bit more endearing. At least that's what Hendrik was saying. He said it was easy to be with me because I'm so lovable and charming. That it would be such a pleasure to live together with me. He said that he felt like he could barely breathe with you. Jesus. Why couldn't you just give the guy a break? Honestly, Rosemary, if he wanted to be with you, he could have divorced me first. Then he could have dated you and eventually married you. I don't understand why he chose to complicate things. Oh, Lainey. Always so serious. You're a beautiful woman, just like me. But men don't usually go for women who are always on their case. They prefer someone fun and carefree. Like me. Well, I've learned that lesson the hard way. Every time you stole my boyfriend, starting from high school. Well, the men you date are easily swayed by a pretty face. It's not hard to steal them away. So in a way, it's your fault for choosing such men. Regardless of what I did or didn't do, cheating is always the cheater's fault. There's no excuse for such behavior. Even the court agreed with me on that. It's so annoying that we have to keep paying you compensation money. And it's annoying that I have to deal with the aftermath of your actions. But enough about that. What did you want to talk about? I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? With Hendrik's child? Of course, who else would it be? I'm just surprised because Hendrik always said he didn't want kids. He didn't want kids with you because both of you were working and he didn't want to share with the responsibility of raising a child. But I'm willing to be a housewife and take care of everything at home. You really think it'll work that way? You are aware that he doesn't make enough to support a whole entire family, right? How are you going to survive off of one paycheck every month? <sighs> I guess you understand the gist of the matter then. That's why I decided that since I'm pregnant, I should go home. Go home? Well, you know, mom and dad's. I heard you had to move back in with them after everything went down. I know it might be awkward for you to have to see me and Hendrik from now on, but you'll get used to it. Sure. I don't really want to see any of your faces. Ever, actually. But that's besides the point. There isn't a place for you to stay. It wouldn't work out. No matter what happens, mom and dad will 
always take care of me as their daughter. And you're my sister after all. Family will always be family. That house isn't just for you to stay in either. I can come back anytime I like. There's no doubt that mom and dad want to see their first grandchild anyways. If you would just grow up a little, things would work out smoothly. Just act like an adult and welcome us peacefully, all right? Don't go causing trouble for the rest of the family. That's that. <laughs> I'll be seeing you early next month. I'm looking forward to living with you. Hold your horses now. Rosemary, just calm down for a second and listen to what I have to say. I'm being serious. There really isn't any place for you to return to. Lainey, it's been a while. I hope you're doing well. I was wondering if your family still has that car. Rosemary is pregnant, and we could use some help with moving. Hendrik, I can't believe you're considering moving into my parents' house with Rosemary. We don't have many options, Lainey. Rosemary's morning sickness has been tough on her. We could really use your help. You didn't even ask us before deciding to move in. Rosemary is your sister, Lainey. How can you be so cold-hearted? This is exactly why I divorced you. What a coincidence. I was just thinking the exact same thing. Anyways, about the day of the move. You're gonna come and pick up Rosemary, right? I'll just go later with all the stuff. Don't you think making Rosemary come with me in the pickup truck is too much? That'll be hard on her. I do recall giving you our car as part of the divorce settlement. You didn't sell it or anything, I assume? Okay. Who was the one that bought that car with her own freaking money? Oh yeah, me. And way before I met you, it wasn't even part of the darn divorce settlement. Who cares about the little details? What a pain. This is what I'm talking about. Being with you is always such a drag. We were supposed to be in love, feeling butterflies, you know? It's unbelievable the way you made being in a relationship feel like hell every day. <laughs> If you want to think more positively about things, I guess you can say that uptight personality of yours might come in handy once we move into your parents' house. You have quite the steady income as well. <laughs> Are you seriously suggesting that I give you some allowance to cover what your paycheck can't? Come on. Your sister is pregnant. Don't be so cruel. Don't tell me you have no intention of helping us out here. Ding ding. You are correct. You guys can just figure everything out by yourselves. And my precious car won't be letting any of you get even near it. Rosemary will live. Why are you guys even asking me in the first place? Do you know how messed up that is? I keep telling Rosemary that there's no place for you guys to live. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Oh, just stop it already. <laughs> I know it hasn't been too long since our divorce, but it'll be fine. Look, I'm saying this for your sake but you better not try to come over with your stuff. No one will welcome you, I promise you. My parents are not excited about the new grandchild either. Just be grateful that I warned you, okay? What's that supposed to mean? Who wouldn't be happy about getting grandchildren? That doesn't make any sense. My sister doesn't have a place to call home anymore. Don't you think that after stealing her only sister's husband, that would be the case? Let's just let the past go, huh? We all make mistakes. Forgive and forget. Let's live together. It'll be great. We'll be a family again. Although not like before, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you have your own family to rely on. Can't you just ask your parents to help out? I'm sure you can still rely on them. You should know how it is with my parents by now. There's not a moment that goes by without one of us picking a fight. It's not a good idea to ask them for help and I don't want to go back to the countryside. There is literally nothing there. <laughs> okay then, I'll text you again when the date and time of the move has been decided. Don't just settle things on your own now. I don't know how many times I have to warn you. You guys really won't be able to move in here. There's no use in bringing your stuff. You can try it if you want. Hey sis, I have some good news I want you. Do you have some time right now? Rosemary, I've told you countless times. You can't move in here, and I'm not picking you up. I don't want you or Hendrik in my life. Like that. 
You're my sister, of course I'm gonna contact you from time to time. It's some really good news. You could ask anyone else for help. Why not ask Hendrik's parents? They have plenty of land and property. I decided that I'm gonna be kind and give him back to you. So you can get- I actually liked Hendrik's parents' place. It was peaceful, but that's besides the point. You can't just barge in here and expect us to accommodate you. Well, a bunch of happened and now I have to get back together with my- The house is gone, Rosemary. <laughs> well, I heard- They demolished it, Rosemary. That's what I meant when I said there's no place for you to return to. Married to someone that makes a lot of money and a doctor is very high up- Dad gave me the house as an early inheritance gift. I decided to turn the land into a parking lot. Back. You must be so happy- Yes, and we moved to another house. <laughs> you don't need to lie about that. I know that you still like him. Deep down, you must be- so It wasn't my decision, Rosemary. Ask Dad. We need to get back together with him. Better not waste it. No, Rosemary. And by the way, you haven't been depositing the monthly compensation fee into my account since last month. Don't keep me waiting too long. Just all a joke. Didn't really mean it. I actually think that you two make such a great couple. I'm sure that you guys would become a really nice family. Anyway, I'm gonna leave him so you're probably the only person that would want to marry him. Lainey, I told you I'd find your new address. It wasn't easy, but I did it. I had to ask around, check city records, even try to follow Dad from his workplace. You went through all that trouble just to find our address? You could put that determination to better use, Rosemary. <laughs> You're living in a fancy high-rise apartment now, huh? Hendrick and I can't wait to move in. The building has top-notch security, Rosemary. You won't be able to get in without a key. And we're not giving you one. We figured out how to bypass the security system. We just followed the mailman through the main entrance. If you have that much time on your hands, why don't you get a job? You owe me money, remember? And shouldn't Hendrick be at work? He took a sick leave today. No wonder he never gets a raise. How many sick leaves has he taken just in this one year? Honestly, none of my business anymore. Back to the point. Even if you manage to get past the main entrance, you won't be able to get into the apartment without a key. We don't need a key, Eleni. We have someone who can pick locks. That's illegal, Rosemary. Do you want to get arrested? It's practically my home too, Lainey. Who would arrest me for trying to enter my own home? You really don't regret anything, do you? You don't think you did anything wrong? Why do I have to feel bad for what we did? We did nothing wrong. We were in love. Can you blame us? I'm really glad I made sure to take preventative measures. What does that mean? Whatever. Once I get in, I'll be using a room that's to my liking. And I need to thank that special friend for opening the door with some coffee and snacks. Whatever you guys have in the kitchen. I hope you guys don't mind. The police will be on their way the moment you try to get in. Just take your time sipping your coffees while you wait for them to arrive. <laughs> Why the police? I don't get it. There's no reason for the police to be on their way. There's no reason? It's called trespassing. With some stranger who's going to be picking the lock open? Commit the crime, do the time. Oh yeah, and if you try to open the door without the key, it'll set the silent emergency alarm off. The security staff will be alerted immediately. No, oh, I had no idea. Sure, you may be able to get into the building without much trouble, but after that, getting into an actual apartment is practically impossible. I'm sure the police are already on their way after the security staff got the emergency alert. That is, if you already got in. In fact, they might already be in the building. Wait, what? We're gonna get arrested? I just came home. That's all, what's wrong with that? We didn't welcome you home with open arms. You broke the law by trying to get in without our permission. I told you so many times that we don't want you coming back, that there's no place for you to return home. You're the one who forced her way into our apartment while we were gone. Now, you'll pay the consequences. There's nothing you can do about it now. Well, what about mom and dad? Where are they now? They wouldn't be okay with this happening. Their grandchild is gonna be born soon. They would be so thrilled to see me come home. They wouldn't mind that I try to get in. Mom and dad don't even consider you as part of the family anymore. I don't know what you were talking about. No, that can't be true. It's all because you did whatever you wanted without thinking about the consequences. 
Dad decided that he didn't want anything to do with you anymore. He thought that what you did was unforgivable. It's not like you have been able to get into contact with Mom and Dad. Why are you being so delusional? I mean, yeah, they didn't really pick up when I tried to call so many times. I did think it was kind of odd. Well, of course. Why would they pick up after what you did? You stole my husband and didn't even show any remorse. You think they would just get over it? They've been upset ever since the day they found out. I'm sure with this little incident, it'll be the final blow to them. Ugh, so unfair, I can't believe you! Why is it always you getting the good treatment from mom and dad? They always spoil you. It's all on you. Your behavior is just seriously unforgivable. Where the heck am I supposed to raise my newborn child? I was going to make you and mom take care of the kid. I can't raise a kid on my own. You have Hendrix Paris to help you out. In fact, they are already on their way, all excited to start a new life with you and the baby. You've got to be kidding me. Even after my divorce, Hendrix's dad kept in contact with me. He was so kind, always worried about me. He would check in regularly. That's why when I found out you were pregnant, I told them about it. Apparently, you guys didn't tell them? Why would you keep it a secret? You really screwed us over. If we get dragged out of the city, it's all your fault! Ugh! Yeah, blame me all you want. I'm fine with that. I'm more than fine, actually, because I told Hendrix's dad on purpose knowing that he would try to bring you guys to the countryside. Thank goodness everything worked out. At least you have a place to sleep now. Shouldn't you be relieved? You'll be staying the night in a jail cell, and then soon after, you'll be going away to live with Hendrix's parents. Haven't you heard from Hendrix about his parents? You don't know how terrible they are. They're too strict with everything. I've met Hendrix's dad multiple times. He's a good man. You say he's terrible, but he only speaks of the truth. He's a man of integrity. It's because he can say it like it is without letting you get away with things that he scares you. They won't help us out with the baby, I know it. They kept talking about how much they were going to support you with the birth and raising the child, though. It's all lies. It's going to be a nightmare. If you want to raise your kid the right way, I don't think there's any issues here. Hendrix's mother will teach you how to raise your kid properly. You'll have no problems. She won't help me raise the child, though. She'll make me do everything on my own. If the way you want to raise your child is by forcing the child onto someone else in order to go out and do whatever you want when you want, well then, good luck. Because Hendrix's mom will never let you get away with that. See? I told you! I knew it! I don't want to go there! No, no, no! Don't be so irresponsible as to have a child and abandon that child with someone else so you can have fun. You're going to become a parent. So you need to realize the responsibility that you have now and act accordingly. Hendrik has a job here. He can't quit. We need that money. I'm sure Hendrik will be fired from his company with the trespassing incident. There will be nothing holding you guys back from moving away from the city with Hendrik's parents. Knowing I don't have to see his face gives me a feeling like no other. I can finally sleep with peace of mind. Hendrik is getting fired? How do you expect us to pay your compensation money without his job? The cell phone payments? Food? We won't be able to survive. For starters, you can start by getting a lecture from the police and repenting your actions with them. Then you'll get to work on the farm once you move in with Hendrik's parents. His mom will teach you well. I'm sure she'll whip you into shape. What, so they don't get any time to relax? I don't want to be working all day, that's not my style. You need to keep making payments to me anyways. I don't care what you have to do, but you'll pay me the money no matter what it takes. You'll have the farm to work on to make some money. Just be grateful that there's a job you can do. I won't let you make any late payments anymore, so you better pay me on time from now on. Please, sis. Don't let this happen to me, even if it's just me. You gotta let me live at home with you. Worst case, I can just let Hendrik go back to live with his parents and work there. He can just send me money every month. We don't need to live together. So please save me, sis. I can't handle living in the countryside with Hendrik's parents. Lainey... We're twins, right? We're supposed to have a special connection. Special connection, huh? Even if we did have that, you betrayed me and destroyed every last bit of connection we had. I don't want to be away from you and mom, Lainey. I need you in my life. You just want to use me as your maid. Make me take care of everything so you don't have to do any of the hard work. That's what you need me for, right? I suck at doing house chores. I don't know how to clean anything. And cooking? You know how terrible I am at it. What am I supposed to make? Baby food? I only felt okay about having a baby because I thought you and mom would be the ones to take care of the baby for me. 
Why would you leave me alone to deal with the baby alone? Please, oh please don't do this to me. Oh, it looks like the police arrived. Time's up. The security staff sent me a message. Just sit tight and don't go anywhere. You'll do what you have to do at the police station, and then you'll be on your way to the countryside with Hendrik's dad. You'll get to spend time in nature. It'll be refreshing. Maybe it'll help you reflect on yourself. They do say that being in nature heals you. Although I think it's safe to say you're broken beyond repair. <laughs> I don't really care either way. We won't ever be speaking to each other ever again. I'm cutting you out of my life. Don't be so hasty, Lainey. Please just give yourself time to calm down and rethink things. You know I can't stand living anywhere other than a city. And what's with the police? Don't let them take me to the police station, please! I just want things to be like they have been all this time. Lainey, the police are really here. I can't believe it. Please tell the police not to just barge in. They can't do that. Rosemary and her criminal buddy thought that they could get away with breaking into my house and stealing my stuff. But they were wrong. They got caught red-handed by the cops who arrived just in time. They tried to talk their way out of it, but the cops weren't buying it. They handcuffed them and took them to the police station. They only got off with a warning, thanks to Hendrik who showed up later and vouched for them. He told the cops that they were his wife and his friend, and that they didn't mean any harm. He begged the cops to let them go, saying that it was their first offense, and that they were sorry for what they did. The cops were lenient and let them go, but they weren't free for long. Since they had nowhere else to go, they were immediately taken by Hendrik's parents to their home, far, far away from the city, surrounded by only nature. Now, Rosemary is getting strict training by Hendrik's mom on how to do house chores and raise a child. Rosemary is now stuck doing everything on her own without any help. As for Hendrik, he's stuck doing farm work every day while breaking his back doing hard labor. His dad takes care of his monthly paycheck and manages the money to make sure I get my payments on time. I no longer have to deal with any late payments. Even though life in the countryside seems tough, it looks like Rosemary and Hendrik don't have any of the energy, money, or resources that would allow them to leave. They'll be living there for a very, very long time. <laughs>